Alrighty, so I'm with Sam down the flying field. Sam is a new member of the Essential RC team. He's a new member of the Essential RC team because he's marrying my daughter next weekend. Are you looking forward to that, Sam? Yeah, nervous, but... <laughs> You're nervous, I'm nervous, I've got to give a speech. Well, you've got to give yeah, a speech as well. Have a but good day. It's going to be an awesome day, looking forward to that. But uh, Sam's first review. This is uh, the Volantix RC F4U Corsair, an iconic American warbird from the Second World War. Uh, you get everything you need in the box with this, Sam, less the double A's you need to put in the transmitter. Yep. Um, so you're a drone pilot, really, aren't you? That's your experience, is it not? I am. I've only flown one fixed-wing plane before for a brief, a brief flight, maybe one battery. So it's going to be, it's going to be interesting trying to, trying to control it in this wind today. Uh, yeah, it's, oh, oh, it's even blowing the box. It's blowing the, the box and the it. transmitter over. But you can see down there, guys, the uh, it's blowing 25 miles an hour. It's a, uh, it's a pretty windy day. Um, but what I'm confident of is that this is one of the best planes to fly on a windy day, even for a beginner, because it's got these three modes. It's got expert mid and expert modes. So I reckon if you fly in mid mode, which yep. is going to give you more, more bank angle and more pitch control than you would get in beginner mode, I think you're going to be able to do it, Sam. I mean, we'll give it a good try. No, we'll you're, go. going to, you're going to do it, Sam. <laughs> I will. Uh, yeah. Confidence is key, right? Your confidence is key. <laughs> when it comes to flying warbirds like this and giving speeches at weddings. <laughs> let's crack on, come on, let's give it a go. Sorry, Put the box on the ground, down. that's gonna fly away anyway. Sorry. Have you got your speech all worked out, Sam? Have you prepared that speech, Sam? Definitely, yeah. You have? Months in preparation. Memorised as well. She did mine ages ago, it's easy. Right, okay. So, my advice, you want half throttle, and then, yeah, hold it from behind like that, and away you go. Brain You've got throttle, and it's, this is a mode, <coughs> excuse me, mode two transmitter. So you've got throttle and rudder on the left stick. And you've got elevator and aileron for roll on the right stick. Okay. All right. So you're going to go into wind quite slowly. You turn and go downwind, you're going to go woof like, yeah. like that. So uh, bear that in mind. You don't want to leave the turn late. You want to turn almost as soon as you come past me. I'm going to leave it to you now. All right. I mean, here we go. Just a nice firm throw. Would you set the uh, throttle halfway? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Above your head and a nice firm throw. There you go. Stay to the right. Well done. Keep going. And then make your turn to the right, I would. Little less throttle, you're going to keep climbing. Come back this way. I'm trying. No, no. He's going in. No, he's not. He's down. Right, zero throttle. Yeah, zero throttle. Well, it wasn't too bad. I mean, you corrected over here. Yeah, Give it another go. If anything, he's going to get fit. Catch me running around, I'm more likely to have a heart attack. Now, in the crop out there, it might have gone to the bottom, but he can just waggle the sticks, and I'm sure he would hear the servos. So you should be able to find it quite easily. Yes, here he, he's found it, I think. My guarantee it's going to be in one piece. But importantly, the propeller is designed to pop off in an impact, so it's important he doesn't lose that. Can we spot the propeller? Yes! Propeller didn't even come off. Alright, he's on his way back. Bit of slow motion.
doesn't he run gracefully? My turn to do the running now. I'm, see, this is why I uh, ensured I'm a good pilot and I don't fly too far away, because I do <laughs> not like running around. Not at my age. No. But... And you won't do that again, will you? No. <laughs> I mean, I think I'll try it on a less windy day, because... Yeah, no, so... this is a fun day for flying, <laughs> man. <laughs> I'll give it, give it one more go. Yes, you are going to give it one more go. That's not a complete flight test, is it? We want to see you land it at your feet. So, lesson is... Don't fly too far away. Can, when you make that turn, continue the turn because it's going to make it's going to take a long time to yeah. turn. Yeah. So. And you can use rudder as well. Yes. Yeah. So you know when you're turning that way and you're using a little bit of um, right right aileron to roll, use a little bit of right rudder as well, and it will. It's what they call a coordinated turn. You might have to use a bit, little bit of elevator to keep the nose up. Yeah? Okay. You're gonna, only going to learn by doing, Sam. Yeah, I know. So how... So if I wanted to turn right on a controller... So, I'd... you roll to use the that sailor on, that yep. will roll you, and then just use a little bit of rudder yep. that way as well. Not okay. too much, but then it will yaw and roll at the, at the same time. Okay. And you might need to use a little bit because, but then it will drop the nose a little bit, so you might so have to, to pitch, up. pitch up a little bit. And that is pulling backwards a bit, yeah? Yep. Go on, go for it. Try it, try it, try it. Keep going out that way a little bit, that's it. You don't have to use full throttle. Control your altitude with the throttle, yeah, that's good. Now make your turn. Power! Uh, what did you do there? I don't think I was turning right enough with the aileron. I was using the rudder, but... I, I, mean, I think you probably needed to use more power as well. Okay, yeah, and pitch off a bit. Right, go pick it up, let's try again. Another run. Oh, did the propeller come off? Kind of ah, you see, it's designed to do that, so you that should just be able to pop exists. that back on. Just make sure the um, the shaft of the propeller goes into the little hole on the. Yep. And just clicked and it in. Should, it should pop, click in, yeah. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Take four hundred and <laughs> take so, three. So I think it's power as well. Yeah. You need. You need the same uh, yeah, airspeed going downwind, but you need to be moving quicker across the ground to yeah. keep that airspeed, so you need more throttle. Okay. So, go for it. Oh, brilliant. Keeping the altitude. Nice. Now bring it over here with a bit of left aileron. Brilliant. You got it, Sam. Well done. A bit closer. A bit more power. I want to fly backwards like you, Dom. Oh, you show off. It takes years to be able to fly backwards, you know. I think you're getting the hang of it now. Yeah, I just want to try and keep the pitch and keep the level and then do a right turn. Pitch up a tiny bit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's easy, this. Yeah. It's not hard. I know I make it look easy. Ooh. I've learned more about flying radio control mall airplanes on windy days than calm days, believe me. And in this country, you can't really avoid the wind. 
but there's a big difference between flying into wind and downwind. 100%. So windy days really do teach you a lot, even on a small plane like this. This is great for kids to teach them the basics of, you know, aviation, you know, and flying. Not only kids, but, you know, <laughs> but grown adults. Adults, well. grown adults as well, yeah. Because you're not, you're not afraid of crashing this. No. Oh, no, you're not, because you're not going to damage it. It'd be, you know, on grass especially. Yeah. <clears throat> Maybe easier to damage if you're on tarmac or asphalt, you know, a hard runway. Yeah. But still, I think you'd have a hard time breaking it. Should I, should I try and do an aerobatic? Yeah, absolutely. Well, uh... So as I was um, saying on the previous flight, to do the aerobatics, you're in mid or beginner modes. You click the aerobatic button and then it beeps. Yep. And while it's beeping, you need to use either uh, left or right. Or, or this stick, but yeah, yeah. that way to do a roll and yeah. pull it back to do a loop. We're we'll trying to do a roll because I don't get much height at the moment. So. There you go. Yeah. And that was a pretty axial roll, actually. It didn't lose a lot of height, did it? No. Pretty clever. Right, bring in for a landing. Uh, Power. No. That was a very good landing. It was a landing sorts. So there we go. Volant XRC F4U Corsair from the Mini Warbird series from my friends at Banggood. You like that? It's pretty good isn't it? Yeah it's a good, good first time. You wouldn't have thought you could fly anything on a windy day like today. No because it is very, it's blind a gal. It's horrific it, so. and that's why nobody else is here but you bring out something like this you can have lots of fun and you get three batteries. You can fly for an hour and be recharging the other batteries off a, you know, a, big, off a big battery while you're flying. Indeed. The link for this is in the video description and the pinned comments if you would like to look it up for the price on, on uh, banggood.com. But otherwise, that's it that for this episode of Essential RC. Thanks, Sam. Thanks, Tom. See Thanks you next everyone. Saturday, man, for the wedding. <laughs> yep, see you next Saturday. <laughs>